Welcome to Tales from the Caveside, where Lillian and Chris, we bought a cave house and finca on the outskirts of a small Spanish town. Follow us as we learn to renovate and create a home that we will be proud of. Okay, so we're still in cave two. There's the front door. There's the room Chris has been working on, removing everything. And this is where the original ceiling we found had the problems. There's a random lintel going left to right here. It's got some bricks on top of it. Can you see them? And it was holding a little bit of something here, but then when that all came down, it stopped holding anything. So I'm, uh, Lillian's not too pleased about me doing this, but what else are we gonna do? It's just gonna be a random lintel in the middle of nowhere, isn't it? Maybe. Right, the lintel is being removed. I'm not happy but the lintel has been removed. I have been overruled, it's happening. So much so that I went off to get a drink, came back and somebody had smashed this lintel with a hammer to this degree that it's like this. So it now had definitely has to come out, I have no choice. But all the wires, nearly all the wires are rotten. He keeps quantifying why. I get why, I'm still not happy that it's happening. So I've agreed as long as he doesn't do it by smashing it, and making all sorts of bits fall here and here. He's got to drill the concrete and we'll take it out more carefully. Yes. Is that sensible? You yeah. agree? Because you told me and I do as I'm told. No, apart, from the fact that, apart from the fact that I wanted the little left, but there you go. Right, I will stand well back and record this for us. <laughs> yeah, that's the concrete from the it's punched the concrete out. Okay. It's come over right over there because I've swept. Yes. <laughs> There's also bits falling from over there. Well, from over be, here. There'll be dusty stuff because it does sprinkle every so often on its own. Now I just got to get a saw and cut through this wire. Okay, just one. There's one there. Uh, a one and a half here. It's sort of like half of a wire. Oh no, two. That's the only one that isn't full of rust. All the rest of them are rust, rust, rusted and rotten. Okay. Okay, I'll go find a saw. Yes. Wow! It's so not rusty when it's really strong. Either that or the blade's blunt. Right, I've had to go for the pick as opposed to the, the chisel. But it's just not coming. Just to see what we've got. <coughs> it's terrible. This is all built up here. And this, I reckon what they've done was put it up and then fixed it underneath. Yeah. And that just fell in. If you come here and just have a in the camera lot, you can see the route it took to go up. Oh, talking of roots. But you can see the direction it was put in. Yeah, so potentially had it here, lifted it a bit, stuff to rock in, lifted a bit more, stuff to rock in, and kept building it up to the right height they wanted it at. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Yeah. But it means you're going to be careful because it's going to suddenly come down, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that was in a long way then. Come and look here how far in it was. Put them roots. Yeah, the camera doesn't show the depth. Stick your hand in and show the depth. So, there. Nothing. Nothing. A couple of fingers. Yeah. Well, I suppose it was once we filled all this lot up with Yeso. More wish it was and we removed it. I don't know which one of these it was. Because. So. None of them should have wires, bare wires sticking out. Somebody's been tracing the electricity into the wall here. 
then find out how we get the rest of this bit of lintel out that I didn't want removing in the first place, but that's a different story, as you already know. And in doing something over here with a hammer, nose and chisel, he just got electrocuted, tripped the house, everything went black. I swore. He swore. And I haven't got it on camera. We've got drama and I missed it on camera. I'm I devastated. Know. But I can't see any bare wires sticking out. Well, stick your hand in again. So well, you I'm not camera. sticking my hand in again. I know I really, really am a bit stupid sometimes, but I'm not that stupid. Good job we only pay for 3,000 kilowatts, 300, uh, 3 kilowatts or whatever it is. You can't think anymore. No, are, are, you, are your ears still ringing? No, but my chest aches a little bit. And my teeth and my mouth taste a bit metallic. <laughs> Like I've been chewing on a piece of metal. Well, the guy who put this box in obviously was into insulation. Okay, why? Because of the dirty great air gap behind it. Right, you might be able to see it. Yeah, I'm not getting too close, I'm just turning the electricity off again. But yeah, just down there, it's not even against the wall. And it's still connected there and down there. Right, so what am I doing now? Uh, I'm going to find this up and I think I'm going to... I think we should call it maybe uh, and you yes, should I'm have a rest. Yes, I'm because that's uh, giving me a shock. However... It wasn't fun. I know I keep going on about I don't, didn't want the lintel removed, but look how nice it's going to look. Imagine that electricity cable up. We now haven't got that dead stop at that point. It's going to look really nice. Yes, with a hole there. And you want a light in it to light it up. Yeah. So it can be Lighted. lit. I think we ought to have a little red LED in there to just because pulses. Like there's a spalian living up in there. Oh, something, yeah, like out of a horror film. That would be brilliant. Imagine, it just comes on at random at night. <laughs> Anybody staying in here, just walking, oh, just off for a week. Pew, go. Yes. Hilarity ensues. Yeah, we wouldn't get to see it. <sighs> we'd hear about it. <laughs> <laughs> A uh, plastic creepy crawly in there every so often. Oh yeah, you have to get an a one of those from the movie Alien. You can actually get the plastic thing that moves around. Oh yes. Well, it's kind of hot and sweaty out here. Didn't look it from inside. No. <laughs> it's kind of yeah, warm. Anyway. Yes. Finally, getting on with doing the bit of render along the top on those concrete blocks, so water doesn't come in. So yeah, that in finally. mind, scaffolding, ladders. Water to spray it down with. Cement mixer behind you. White cement. Bench removed. Yes. It'll become a permanent fixture one day when this is all done. But at the minute, the important thing is that because water can come in. Indeed. Let's get on with the show. Yes, I'll uh, get on with mixing. Yes, indeed. Well, there's a Chris in his favourite place. Yes. Off the floor. Not. Not happy at all up here. No, so Not I. At all. Um, I'll go and hold it steady so it doesn't rock too much whilst he's doing this. You don't see, need to see a grown man be so scared, so I won't record it for you. We'll show you what it's like later. Well, look who's had to take over. Who was afraid he pants and had to get down? Uh, no, Dover needed me. <laughs> Dover needed me so he could stretch. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I was also getting a bit crossly because... Yeah, I kept uh, scratching the, the coating on the, the roof with the sharp edge of the trowel. So Lillian said, I have more patience than you. Step away. Go, yeah. do, go do something else. Yeah, this is the first coat over the bricks, the blocks. Because you can't put monocap straight on top of the blocks because it doesn't work no. very well. So, shame. Of... Yeah. Well, yeah. anyway, it is what it is. Well, that's it. But it needs to be a cementous product on there anyway, because it'll help act as a water barrier. Yeah. And uh, the monocap is semi-porous. 
back at it. That's gone off nicely up there. Just got to clean all this mess up now. So uh, get that done. And then get ready to start monocapping. This could be awesome. Well, I hope, anyway. Right, I'll get this lot clean up. And then we'll go to the next stage. Right, I'm all set up. All cleaned up the floor. That's the product we're using. And it's literally that. It's ready to go. You just add water. Now I'm going to do one bag to start with and see how I get on. I don't want to mix two bags. This machine will carry two of these bags. Now every other time I've done it, I've done it with a drill and a, like a whisk, so to speak. Um, but the whisk thing's broken. So I uh, can't use that. I'll have to get a new one. But it does say mechanical mixing, so I'm guessing that also means cement mixer. We will see. Right, I'll give it a go. Ah, oh, got this far. Blooming spider on the wall. Uh, okay. So I'll keep on going. Really wants me to wait for up here until she's back because she's not happy about me on the scaffolding. And that lot, so that's fine. I don't like being up there at the best of times. So, I will uh, carry on. be too long no. I don't think no, it's been a while it has. Um, yes it is well done <laughs> I got one over on you I said it first yes yes there is now who is it by um, now then tick tock 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 Stained. Stained. Ah, I visualised the album cover and everything. <laughs> See, you stressed me with the TikTok. I don't like it. I don't like it. You're always on blooming TikTok. No, I'm not. You are. You're ticking and talking and all sorts. Well, it's done. How right. fantastic does that look? Really, really happy. Indeed. Looks like real people live here, people that care. <laughs> it's been that horrible, grimy, horrible wall since we first moved here, hasn't it? It has. It has. <laughs> so the lights aren't fitted properly, they've just got longer screws in just to support them. That's, just in case, you never know. That's, that's bits and pieces, tidying up yeah. and all that stuff. I don't care at the minute, let me just revel in how fantastic my house looks. Woohoo! Yes. Good job, well done! Good day, bitch. You deserve a beer tonight. Yes, I deserve a shower more. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is very true. <laughs> okay, so the wall's drying nicely. Uh, there's still a few patches where we topped up, where it hadn't quite taken properly or, or gone in too far. Just trying to level it out. So that's brilliant. Uh, I fixed the lights up just now, tighten the screws up. So next is then flap. Got a little trap door in it. So uh, I'll get that up. And then that is this done, apart from clearing up on the floor. So, 
how I get on. Right, well that's all secured up. Um, because the way I did the wall, <laughs> it bends a little bit at the top, but that's fine. Um, when we put them up on the other bit, just put silicon around, stop any water. But the beauty of it is, any water that does run down will come out the weep hole at the bottom anyway, so that's okay. Right. So I'm going to put this together. That is flat falling out all the time. Right. I just bobbed some silicon around it and hope the weather doesn't uh, arrive. It looks to be moving away, so that's good. Okay, so I'm very happy with that. That gap's all filled. Siliconed up nicely. Happy with that. Okay. Right. What do think about getting this lot cleared up? Um, we're still not permanently attaching this gutter as yet because otherwise it'll only have to be taken apart again anyway for when we do the uh, the groundwork tubing and everything. So it'll be fine where it is for now. What do you reckon, Dover? Is it all right, mate? Is it good enough? Does it pass inspection? Yes? Good boy. Right. Cleared up. Um, I've not been too mental on that. Because this has uh, got to come up anyway. All this lot. We concreted. Or we're just going to use it as a hardcore base and concrete on top. So it's not that bad, really. But it's just got the worst of it. Makes it look a lot more neat. Brilliant. Right. As you can see, another project finished. So, we hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give us a like and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, share around as well, please. We'd really appreciate it. So, we'll see you on the next one.